Now let's study what is change in supply that is increase or decrease in supply and what is change in quantity supplied. Now there's a difference between change in supply and change in quantity supplied. Let's understand what's the difference. Change in supply or increase or decrease in supply means the shifting of supply curve. The supply curve altogether shifts outwards or inwards as the case may be. Now why, do, now why does this supply curve shift? The supply curve shift because there is a change in some factor of supply. Some factor which determines supply. And these factors are divided into two categories. First category is the other factors and the second category is the price. The other factor means the price of relative the other factors include the price of related goods the other factors include the change in price of related goods the change in technology change in government policy etc and the second category is price now when the supply is changing because of other factors we call it a change in supply. It is not changing because of price. Please bear this in mind. When supply changes because of other factors like technology, like taxes, like prices of other goods, we call it a change in supply. And what happens is when the supply changes because of other factors, the supply curve altogether shifts. It might shift rightwards, that is the outwards, or it might shift inwards or leftwards. So when the supply curve shifts outward or rightwards, we call it an increase in supply. Because the supply is increasing here. And when the supply curve shifts inwards or leftwards, we call it decrease in supply. Here we see that lack of monsoon has affected the supply of various crops in India. The agricultural produce has gone down in India because India is dependent upon monsoon. Most of the agricultural land in India is not irrigated. So, such land which is not irrigated, which is actually in majority, depends upon the monsoon. So, monsoon, if it is good, leads to a higher agricultural produce for that year. However, when the monsoon is not good, the agricultural produce goes down. And when the produce goes down, the goods that are being supplied have to go down. The supply will reduce. So here we see that the monsoon or lack of monsoon has affected the production of rice. Thus the supply of rice has gone down. It has affected sugar. It has affected turmeric also. See, We all know that India is an agrarian country. That is, agriculture is the basic occupation of people here. However, most of the cultivable land on which the farming is done is non-irrigated. That is, that land does not have access of water by means of bore wells, tube wells, sprinklers or canal systems. So, that land has to depend upon rains or monsoon for cultivation of crops. Now if we get a good monsoon what happens is the cultivation or the total produce of crops increases but when we have a bad monsoon 
the agricultural sector does not perform that well the produce decreases now when the produce increases we can say that the agricultural supply or the supply of crops in the market has increased and when the agricultural produce decreases obviously lesser number of crops will be supplied in the market so supply of such crops will decrease so we can see that the supply of crops is dependent upon rain and not the price of the crops so when there is a change in supply of crops because of rain we can say that there is a change in supply and not the quantity supplied because supply here is getting affected getting changed because of some other factor and not because of price now let's see what is change or increase or decrease in quantity supplied change in quantity supplied means the change in the supply or the quantity of supply because of a change in price we've seen that there is a direct relation between price and supply as price of the product goes up the supply also goes up and when the price falls the supply also falls so when supply changes because of price we say that the we say that there is a change in the quantity supplied in this case what happens is the supply curve remains still it does not shift inwards or outwards it does not shift on the either side but remains there only the points only tend to move along that curve now in this case at price p q is the quantity that is being supplied this is the equilibrium point let's name this point as a now when the price increases to p1 the quantity supplied increases to q1 and we come to point b as the equilibrium point now in this case we can note that the supply curve has not shifted only the equilibrium point has shifted we are only moving along the curve it is the same curve it is the same curve that we are moving along and if if we move upwards we call it an increase in quantity supplied if we move downwards we call it decrease in quantity supplied so please understand that when supply changes because of price no new curve is formed we only tend to move along the same supply curve the upward movement along the supply curve is also called as expansion of supply and the downward movement is called as contraction of supply so please remember when we move along the supply curve in the upward direction we call it expansion however when we are moving along the supply curve in the downward direction it is called as contraction